When taking the train from Stansted Airport to London, there are two major things you need to know about. So that's what this video is about, and there won't be any fancy edits or anything, I'll just show you exactly what to do when you're taking the train from Stansted to London. And what you've just seen here is the arrivals hall here in Stansted Airport, and no matter where you're flying in from, this is where you will exit. And as you can see, there are a few shops and a VH Smith, so if you need a bottle of water or anything, then this is your chance, because you can't buy anything once you get on the train. So we are making our way over here, and as you can see on the lowest sign up there, this is the way to the train station. And uh, on the screen up there, you can actually see when the next train is leaving. So walk through the doors on the left, and uh, then you're on your way to the trains. So let's talk a bit about one of the main things you need to do before you fly to Stansted Airport and that is buying your ticket in advance. Of course you can buy your ticket uh, at the station and in the ticket booth but there will be lines especially if you're arriving in the weekends or on a busy day. But more importantly you can actually save quite a lot of money I think it's 54% on the tickets if you book in advance. So what I would recommend you to do is that as soon as you've booked your flights to Stansted Airport then you head over to stanstedexpress.com you put in your travel dates, uh, here I'm going as two adults and I want a return ticket and get prices and book. So I can get return tickets for under £40, whereas if I booked them on the day of travel, they would have cost almost £61. So that's a really nice saving on tickets that you needed anyways. And now you've got them on your phone and there's absolutely no problem just walking straight from the airplane and out onto the train. So after walking for around a minute, you can see this massive sign that says trains and yeah, we are going to the right here. And while we are walking down the last part of the route here, let's talk a bit about the stations that the Stansted Express are actually stopping at. The journey from Stansted Airport to Liverpool Street Station, which is the last stop, will take you around 48 minutes. And uh, most tourists are gonna take the train all the way to Liverpool Street. But I just want to say that for some it's actually better to get off at Tottenham Hale Station. Because at Tottenham Hale you can transfer to the Tube, the, the metro in London. And you can take the Victoria Line down to King's Cross St Pancras and that will only take you 11 minutes. So if you're staying near King's Cross then that would make sense. And if you haven't found a place to stay in London then check out my other video where I'm showing my 4 favourite areas to stay. On this trip I actually stayed in a really nice hotel which is in walking distance from uh, Liverpool Street Station. So if you want to check that out there will be a link in the description. But like I said, most people are probably gonna take the train all the way to Liverpool Street Station because from there you've got I think four different tube lines so no matter where you're going in London you can get there quite easily. So we've reached the train station here in Stansted Airport and sometimes you need to show your ticket to an inspector but sometimes you can just walk on. And coming up is the second very important thing you need to know. Because as you can see here on your left, there is a train waiting and if you were in a hurry and you just ran down, you just seen that there's a train leaving very soon, you might be tempted to jump in that train. But then you would end up in Norwich and trust me, nobody wants to go to Norwich. The good news is that there will always be stuff on hand and you can always check the screens and as you can see here on the side of the train it says where it's going so just keep calm that is not your train it'll be further up the platform and half of the time the train to london is leaving from the other platform on the right hand side so you need to uh, check the screens or ask some staff and once you get to liverpool street station you will need your ticket again to get out of the barriers and uh, it's simply scanning the qr code and walking through if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more travel videos like this. And if you got any questions about London, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to help.